This is the marking content we added just now. We can save it. Give a name to it so you can find it next time. It is just like you save a document in Word. Now this marking content has a name. We click the new in the top taskbar. And the system will ask you do you want to save the present item. You just choose no. Then click the file in the top taskbar. Then you can see the document we saved before. After we set down the marking content, we can try to mark one on the plastic bottle. We go to the setting, find the production line, choose the stop. Then click the start. We have to make sure there is no tick in front of the trigger and repeat mark. Click the guide laser and put a paper in front of the plastic bottle. We can see the red square very clearly. So we can know the marking places. We can turn around the handle to adjust the marking places. Just a tiny movement. Try to mark one. Click the start. Then you can see the mark account. The numbers will change. Then we have to watch the marking performance on the plastic bottle. If it is not very clear, we have to turn around the handle to adjust the focal distance. This is also the tiny movement. We click the start and turn around the wheel to adjust the focal distance. Every time we turn around the handle, we have to observe the changes of marking performance. When the marking performance is very clear, we stop turn around the handle and that is the best focal distance. After the experiment of marking on the bottle while the conveyor belt is not turning on, now we can try to mark one when we turn on the conveyor belt. First, we have to confirm the production line direction. We standing next to the machine and behind the conveyor belt to observe the conveyor belt moving direction. As you can see in the video, the first one is left to right, the next is right to left. Now we can adjust the sensor position. The head of sensor should on the top of the cap. The distance is around 1 cm to 2 cm. It's in the middle. We go back to the touch control screen. Click the start and tick out the trigger. Then we find a paper and stick it on the bottle. Turn on the conveyor belt and let the bottle pass by the sensor. We can see the marking performance. If it is not marked in the middle, we have to adjust the sensor places. If it is marked on the left, we have to move the sensor a little bit to the left. If the marking places is in the right, we have to move the sensor a little bit to the right. After we confirm the sensor position, we can remove the paper and try to mark one. Then, that is the marking performance that we want. How to switch off the machine? Click the stop, click the off, click yes. Press the red light button first. Wait for 3 seconds, then press the laser button. The last one is the power electricity. Pull the plug out. Done.